Yeah, so when he's in the buff state, the, the main reason is he gets increased damage and he has better combos because he can do his yellow attack, combo into it, and do some sort of loops like that. And see, that was 9000 damage and zero dash cancels. Just because he is, he can become really ridiculous. And see, he has some, like, the more leveled up you get, the more, like, classic brawler he gets. Like, he has huge damage, easy, huge chunks of damage, super. And now this makes him pretty slow, it's kind of like Kirishima how he slows him down, but he does a lot of damage. So, and obviously he still has the armor loops, where he can do two armor attacks on the ground. And see that combo there, that was no dash cancels, does 10,700 damage, and it was pretty cheap as well. It, well, it was cheap, it did, was no dash cancel, I mean it was pretty easy. So two attacks, into armor attack, two attacks, into armor attack. And then two attacks into his grab and his dragon punch, which we'll, our buttons we'll get to later, is 10,700 damage. In addition to him to having like a really weird high damage loops, you can end your combo in this massive punch and do 13,000 damage. Just because your opponent. Well, just because you had your charged muscles on. It costs you zero dash cancels, and you got 13,000 meter. Because you've managed to get both of your charged arms up. And you can actually make it a bit more if I do something like this. 13,600 damage. There's no, definitely no wall splats or anything, thank goodness. 13,600 damage for zero dash cancels, zero plus ultra, and zero sidekicks. That's pretty intense if you ask me. <laughs> plus ultra or something after them, so it's a good way of getting good damage in order to go into your plus ultra attacks or whatever, because you're still on the ground. <laughs> that wasn't optimal at all, but you can see you can get good damage that way. Okay, everyone, especially if you're facing a wall, then definitely don't do the extension after it, because it is like a super good wall splat tool. Because they go flying into the air, and then they're in a wall splat, and then you can do your combos. And then these are absolutely short tickets. And then you've gotten 12,000 damage from your plus ultra, and you also have dual arms on. So now I can do super easy combos for super free, and you're dead. <laughs> Like, Muscular is just so powerful and so, so scary, it, like, in the right hands. So, like, if this is a, my third slow hit, or if it's a new move coming, but they guessed wrong, it was a red attack, and now I get combos. And then they've just lost an easy, huge amount of damage, didn't cost me any dash cancels, whatever. We can get into his combos, and this is where Muscular can be a bit crazy. So, as I was saying, you don't really want to be doing combos in normal state because, I don't know, he's kind of, he's low tier in his regular form. You can do some combos into plus ultra by doing his, like, ground loops after dash cancel from this. And, but what am I, I'm doing most of the time if I'm in regular state is do three hits into his dragon punch and, oops. And you want to get a wall splat, sometimes it doesn't work if you're too close. Yeah, I'll do it from this side. So three hits, into dragon punch, and then you're really likely to get a wall splat. And then you can do the same thing if you want. Actually, no, you can't apparently. But when you're on the wall, you have a lot of like possibilities of things you can do. You can go into a red attack. You can charge up muscles. Um, a lot of the time you can... Um, if I've gotten a wall splat, I'll just do the charged muscles and then sometimes you can get attacked like this, you can get an attack afterwards, and then you can get a cool combo like this, and you've charged your muscle all in one. Um, if you're not facing a wall, you can actually do two hits into his grab, and then do the dragon punch, and then you've turned around, and then you're facing a wall correctly. And yeah, so when you're on the wall, he's not going to get like extra huge amounts of damage. Um, a lot of the time, actually his um, Tilt Quark 2 grab is really good because it almost never meteor blows. So if I've done something like this, instead of wall splat, and you saw before when I tried to do a follow up it meteor blowed, but if I do two hits into the grab, it shouldn't. See? And then he gets more damage that way. See, it's still pretty low when you're in, the, when you're in your low state, so a lot of the time, 
If I'm ever in this state, I just want to sacrifice my damage in order to go into my muscle state, because that's where he gets crazy. Okay, so now that I have one muscle arm on, I'll show what you can do with, with a single muscle arm. So now I have my armor attack loops, so I can do two hits into armor attack, two hits into armor attack, two hits into tilt quirk 2 grab, into my quirk 2 string, and then I've got 9,000 damage, which is a bit below average damage, but it also didn't cost me a single dash cancel, which is pretty OP if you ask me. And obviously, since you're on the ground for a lot of that, you could throw in a plus ultra or whatever. But yeah, and you can also, oops, let me get the arm back. You can also um, end it early in order to go into the dragon punch, like for a wall splat. So yeah, if I've, like, yeah, pretend I've done the long combo, I've done two hits into the thing, I end in that, because then I, it won't meteor blow, and then I can do the combos on the wall. And yeah, so when he's, you always want to make sure you have a muscle arm on with muscular, like, if they block anything, just go two hits into this, and then you've got a muscle arm on. Like, nothing matters as long as you have a muscle arm. If you get punished, it doesn't matter, because you have really good high damage for no dash cancels, once you have one on. And yeah, so... Now I'm just going to go into his double muscle arms, because that is where he gets crazy fun. So now I'm in dual muscle arm mode, so I do lots more damage. I can do the same combos that I did in, with my single muscle arm, except they're just going to do more damage now. So that string into the grab, into the quirk 2, dragon punches, and that does 10,700 damage, which is pretty crazy, guys. That was no dash cancels, 11,000 damage. So that is what a lot of people would call OP if you didn't have to charge this up. It's pretty ridiculous. And a lot of people think this is an infinite, but it's definitely not. But it is very strong, don't... I'm not trying to downplay muscular here. And if you end in the dragon punch, then you still have the muscle arms on. Oh, but they, wa they do wear off after time. Let's see, if I do this combo here, I'll do it again for you. Two hits, into armor attack, into two hits, into armor attack, into two hits. Into the tilt quirk 2 grab, into the quirk 2 string, 10,700 damage, and I still have the muscle arms on, so I can go for another combo. And they are so dead if they get hit by anything. Yeah. And obviously you can go for your red attacks, they do even more damage when you have more muscle arms. But when you have the dual muscle arms, obviously, as I said before, oh, oops. He has access to this. This huge damage um, combo ender. It's an automatic meteor blow, so you're never going to get a wall splat or anything, but you're getting huge damage. So obviously, you can add that to the end of his combos in his charged up state. If you think you're running to the end of the time, because there is like a timer for how long he can be in muscle state. Oh, I missed time to that, damn it. If you think you're near the end where your muscles are about to wear off, end your combos in that, and you're getting so, 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 so much damage. Thirteen thousand six hundred damage, zero dash cancels. <laughs> and obviously your muscle arms wear off, but this is where, um, if you're in regular state, you don't want to be doing like I see people doing some weird combos like a dash cancel into this, into uppercut, into dash cancel. But a lot of the time you're not going to want to do that because then you can save up for your plus ultra one. And as you can see, when you do your plus ultra one. He instantly has dual muscle arms, and it leads to a wall splat almost every time. And if you get the wall splat from the plus ultra, you can do his armor attack loops again. Just because he landed a plus ultra attack, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> and yeah, so if you've been saving up your plus ultra meter, you can always just do like two hits. You just want to make sure you land the plus ultra so that you can have dual muscle arms on, because then he's like in instant buff mode. And then, yeah, even if you whoa, 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 sorry. And yeah, so if your opponent's trying to like run around or do attacks or anything, or trying to throw projectiles, like if you're in the muscled state, you always have access to this move here, which will just like, it's an armored attack and it does tons of damage, so you'll just go through anything. It's a great round ender, 
So yeah, you always want to make sure you either have time to charge up your um super arms or that you have a plus ultra so that you can just have them instant charge up. So if Bakugo presses any buttons and I see them, I'll go into this. 6,600 damage. If he had low health because I've been doing my crazy combos, he's like instantly dead. And obviously, with these supports that I have here, I can combo out of my plus ultra one. And I didn't bring out my sport because I'm missing it. Oh, here we go. It does say that it resets, but the opponent has to just guard in order to stop it from happening again. So it is actually, I think, practically a true combo, because I haven't seen anyone actually just guard that gap, but maybe it's just because they don't expect it. But the point is that you can practically get a combo, like if you pretend that this combos, it doesn't matter that the extension afterwards isn't doing that much damage. I mean, sometimes I guess this, I guess I can see why you think there's no point in doing the extension after the plus ultra one, especially if you're facing a wall. Then definitely don't do the extension after it because it is like a super good wall splat tool. Because they go flying into the air and then they're in a wall splat, and then you can do your combos. And then these are absolutely short tickets. And then you've gotten 12,000 damage from your plus ultra, and you also have dual arms on. So now I can do super easy combos for super free, and you're dead. <laughs> like, muscular is just so powerful and so so scary, it, like, in the right hands. So yeah, that's basically all I have to say about muscular. Um, one of his main weaknesses is that his guard pressure isn't actually that good. Like his regular attack string doesn't take that much guard. Um, like his stamina can gauge. This dragon punch like does practically nothing to the guard meter. Like, see, it didn't, it's like it didn't even touch him. So that's not something you're gonna use to be breaking their guard at all. Obviously, unless it's already like on zero. See, look, you can't even see it take anything down. His yellow attack doesn't really take that much. It, it does it take nothing. Yeah. So this move where he charges up, it doesn't take any stamina, any of the stamina. So he's definitely not a character that you're gonna be using to break the guard a lot, and that's why you're gonna be doing a lot of red attacks and stuff because they can guard you a lot. When you're in this mode, I'm pretty sure this punch does a lot of yeah. It does a big, big, big chunk of of um of guard meter. But yeah, I don't think this works, but... Oh yeah, it does. Oh, but that didn't even guard break, so yeah. He's definitely not a good guard break character, but that's why you want to be mixing up, like, if I do two attacks, and then I cancel into this. If I, like, do two attacks, and they think it's gonna be the third attack coming just because I'm slow, slow, you can't tell, like, if this is the, my third slow hit, or if it's a new move coming, but they guessed wrong, it was a red attack, and now... I get combos. And then they've just lost an easy, huge amount of damage. Didn't cost me any dash cancels, whatever. So that's where he's balanced, he doesn't have very good guard pressure. But Muscular is still super strong, guys. Do not try and downplay him. I, I see through your cunning grooves, Muscular players. He is super strong. He's super fun. And I just love how he has different ways like different levels of OPness. So you can either be a fast, like, average character, or you can slowly get more and more buff and slow and brawler character. And I find that is a really fun playstyle. I can choose, depending on my opponent, what works best. And yeah, this is his plus ultra 2. I don't do it that often, because a lot of the time I use my plus ultra 1 to get my charged arms off. The plus ultra 2 does it as well, but obviously it costs double the resources. But yeah, that was my muscular breakdown, guys. He's super fun. He's crazy, crazy, crazy fun. I did not expect this from muscular. He just has so many... He's such a classic roller. And I love that he has these things that make people rage quit. This thing that seems like an infinite. And in a lot of the ways, it is almost infinite, especially with how much damage it does. But he's just so ridiculous. I think he's actually, even though he does huge, huge, huge damage, I think he's pretty balanced. 
because he's pretty weak in a lot of ways. He doesn't have good movement at all. This is as far as he dashes when you press the dash button. His walk speed is kind of slow. He doesn't do good guard pressure, but he has really good damage if he's charged up. And yeah, he, he's just a fun character that can do some big scary damage. Anyways guys, that was my breakdown for Muscular. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.